Hello, welcome to the Sketch Startup with SharePoint Framework tutorial series. And in this tutorial, we'll have a look on how to add a jQuery UI accordion to your SharePoint client side web part. So let's actually jump, uh, jump right into it. So first of all, you need to find a location where you will create the solution. So in my case, I'm going to use the uh, PNP, and then I'm going to actually create my jQuery web part solution here and moving into that one as well. In the jQuery web part folder, Let's execute the yo Microsoft uh, slash SharePoint. So getting uh, whoop, and getting actually that properly uh, written. So missing missing one T uh, from there. So I actually get the Yeoman template to start and we can fill up uh, the needed information. The default solution name uh, is absolutely fine. We're going to use SharePoint Online as the platform for this one. We're going to use the current folder. That is correct as well. In this case, we want to explicitly install this potentially to the site, uh, or we could also use the, the yes option because we quickly kind of, we're not going to actually in the tutorial explicitly install the, the web part to the site. We're going to play or, uh, or implement the whole thing using the local workbench. But following up on the written tutorial, let's answer no on that one. We're going to create a web part and we're going to call this web part as uh, jQuery jQuery and we're going to use the default well jQuery web part as the description for the web part because um, the framework option here might be slightly confusing let's be super clear on what are we doing here so by default SharePoint framework does support all of the available JavaScript framework which are out there now by default however we can scaffold you the, the uh, solution which is automatically using React or Knockout or no JavaScript framework. Technically, you can always start with the no JavaScript framework and then include React or Knockout on the solution as well. So this is just the default scaffolding or solution structure. And in the case of, let's say, Angular or jQuery, we choose no JavaScript framework and then we add those JavaScript uh, references uh, and packages to our solution to make things work. In this case, we're talking about jQuery, so let's actually execute or choose the no JavaScript framework as an option, which will start the scaffolding of the solution. This one will take a while, uh, so we're going to speed up the video until the scaffolding is uh, fully completed. And there we go, now the scaffolding has been completed. And one thing, one thing which is good practice, uh, depending on slightly, uh, again, on when you're watching the video and depending on the versions, what we're using, but right now in the in the Node 6.x or in the NPM 3.10.10, uh, we use the NPM shrink wrap, uh, shrink wrap uh, to make sure that uh, we lock down our dependencies and this one will make sure that if there's any any version changes on the packages which we have a dependence within a solution they will not break our solution which is a good obviously good practice as well now we could already open up Visual Studio code but we still need to install some uh, additional packages because we wanted to actually uh, add the jQuery uh, and we wanted to take advantage of jQuery UI so we need to actually get those packages installed in our solution as well. So let's actually run npm install and that's the save which will make sure that jQuery uh, 2 uh, uh, reference will be installed in the package JSON file. The package JSON file in the solution structure is defining the dependencies what this particular solution is having. So we want to do the dash dash save so that we will have the jQuery 2 dependency in, added uh, in the list of dependencies as well. And the add to means that we're taking a dependency on the version 2 of the jQuery and that's just because the structure and the code what we're using here is actually using jQuery 2 uh, type of uh, jQuery 2 implementations. So now the dependency, jQuery dependency is coming down or being pulled down and that's being added on the node packages or node modules folder of this particular solution. The second thing what we also wanted to install here uh, was around the npm, sorry, jQuery UI. So let's actually do that as well. npm install does the save jQuery uh, UI because we want to take advantage of the jQuery UI in our implementation. And again, it is pulling down the dependency from the package manager, npm in this case, um, and jQuery UI is getting added then on the, on the solution structure and the node modules folder. 
now. And it's also getting added on the shrink wrap, uh, so automatically getting uh, there as the right version, what we want to use uh, within this solution in the future as well. There we go, wrote the npm shrink wrap, and the solution has been added. Because we are implementing our stuff using SharePoint framework, and we want to take advantage of the TypeScript and uh, TypeScript uh, with strongly typed uh, uh, way of implementing our JavaScript, we actually want to install also the types for these particular frameworks. So at types, jQuery, query, uh, query at two. So let's add the types for jQuery 2 in our solution as well. That doesn't take that long because only, it's only the types for the TypeScript-based development. And then we're going to do the same also for jQuery UI. And here we go, the files are getting uh, downloaded and getting pulled down from the internet and getting added on the solution. And adding the same for the jQuery UI, so adding the types for the jQuery UI. Good. So next, what we want to do is that we want to go to the Visual Studio and actually take advantage of the code which was added as a package uh, from the jQuery and jQuery UI side. There's a few things what we need to notice here. We want to actually have um, a dependency or we want to configure that we're using this um, jQuery and jQuery UI in our config JSON. So we want to actually pinpoint that we have these externals, uh, which will help us then to do the implementation uh, in our code side as well. So we're going to add jQuery and jQuery UI inside of uh, the externals uh, collection so that we can reference the, these uh, JavaScript files using then the name, uh, which we can see in here. So basically we are just telling that there's a jQuery, we have a dependency and we'll take advantage of jQuery min and jQuery UI min from these locations. Now, and those are getting also uh, bundled uh, oh, sorry, those are not getting bundled <clears throat> inside of the of the solution because we want to reference these dynamically from the URL where, where they are uh, being hosted. So we don't actually want to um, get them bundled or packets inside of our JavaScript files. We want to actually reference the JavaScript files dynamically from the internet using the URL. And that's why we actually add this external entry in the config file. So they're not getting bundled inside of our solution structure. So next thing uh, what we want to do is that we want to build the actual accordion. So let's go to the folder where we have the web part and let's create a new file here. Uh, let's call this uh, my accordion uh, template. And just for the sake of it, I'm going to actually copy the template accordion template, which we have in the written tutorial. So this accordion template is, is super simplistic and it is static, but just as well, you could actually have some of this information dynamically getting loaded from a list level or from a some other uh, location. So in this case, we basically are defining my accordion template, which is the default export, and we are outputting the template HTML. Our template HTML is static in here, so there's no dynamic content getting loaded from the from the SharePoint side. So we want to use this template in our web part. So let's go to the web part side and let's actually add an import to my accordion uh, accordion uh, template and that's actually getting loaded from uh, my accordion template file so that's actually getting loaded on the same folder uh, in here and then what we want to do is that we want to also import uh, the the uh, jQuery and jQuery UIs because we want to actually use them uh, in our implementation so let's actually add them here as well it doesn't really matter on the order, but there's our jQuery, there's our jQuery UI. And now we need to load some uh, external JavaScript files or we're loading some external JavaScript files. Uh, so let's actually add an, an, a component loader uh, to be imported as well. To be able to load the jQuery styles, we actually need to override uh, the constructor of the of the jQuery web part. So let's actually do that. So let's actually include a constructor where we are then using that SP component loader. So we're dynamically loading and referencing this CSS file from that location. Let me slightly adjust from that location. And in this case, 
uh, we are basically so we are loading the styles properly and then it's a matter of making sure uh, that we actually update our rendering uh, accordingly and make sure that our rendering logic uh, is getting uh, updated so we are actually using the accordion uh, in the output and that means in this case that we are overriding the existing out-of-the-box render or which is getting the default scaffolding render let's get rid of completely on that one and let's replace that one with a, a jQuery UI based uh, definitions. So first of all, this DOM element in our HTML, which is the web part inside of the web part, the web part context, we will actually use the template HTML. And then we uh, are using uh, the jQuery accordion options. So we can actually do the accordion options based on the styles and, and all of that. That, that. Those settings are then controlling how things are getting rendered using also the CSS. Relatively simple case, relatively simple way of using uh, the, the jQuery UI uh, functions, uh, but let's see if this one is working properly. So now if I move back on my console, let's actually clear uh, the console side and do call observe. We should actually see that our console, that our web part is getting hosted on a local workbench and the local workbench is showing then the, the Office UI, uh, jQuery UI uh, accordion template, and you can see that it's completely static uh, for the time being, but it's relatively easy to, if you if you have a look on the, what we did in the tutorial two of the main uh, getting started tutorials, you can easily figure out how to get this information dynamically loaded, for example, from a SharePoint list, and then rendering them that one out uh, using the functionality. But that's it for this particular tutorial. So hopefully we were able to explain how the reference uh, external JavaScript or jQuery files and uh, jQuery uh, jQuery files and jQuery CSS files. There's additional guidance and documentation on that available also in the docs.microsoft.com. But hopefully you find this interesting and please continue uh, building these tutorials and give us feedback as well. Thank you.